Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts and today we're looking at flow meters. What are they and how do they fit the anatomy of a coffee machine? Full disclosure, this machine doesn't actually have one, but it makes a good prop. Flow meters, what are they? They're these little things. And now a common brand is Jika, which is the one we've got here, but they do come in multiple brands. The effectively what these things are is they count how much water is coming through your group head. So coffee machines tend to be either completely manual where you turn them on and off, semi-automatic where they're based on, I guess, time that you've predetermined, you know, like 30 seconds, or they're volumetric, which is based on volume of water. And that's when these flow meters come into play. What they are is water goes in and out. There's a little arrow for in, a little arrow for out. And generally speaking, they're either, in this case, they're a quarter inch BSP. Some are smaller at one eight inch BSP. They go in, they go out. And inside of them, they have this little impeller. This little impeller's got two little magnets. So you can see in here, as the water goes, this it forces the impeller to spin. And because they know how much water fits in each of these areas, and they know how many times that impeller spun, so those magnets register in here, and it, this has basically counts the revolutions. So when you program in the machine, and you're programming volume, you're not saying you want X amount of mils. You're basically saying start and stop, because you might be using a measured glass to kind of measure in a, the coffee or the water coming out. And the machine inside is recognizing how many flows it's taken. So it's taken 200 revolutions, right? So then from then on in, every time you hit that button, it's gonna allow 200 revolutions before it cuts it off. That's what it is. It's just basically counting the amount of revolutions, which effectively is the volume of water that goes through. Sometimes what happens with these is the readers here stop reading the magnets and you need to replace this head. Sometimes these impellers start playing up, you know, they're plastic, they go brittle, they age, and then sometimes you just have to replace the whole unit. There is seals around here that seal the unit, so if you're having a leak from the top, it's a seal. If it's not registering, it's top, typically the top, sometimes the impeller, but realistically, because they kind of age at the same pace together, a lot of times people just replace this whole unit. Super simple to do, basically just two pipes and in this case it just has a little cap that connects the wires. Sometimes wires just connect individually. Um, to service them inside, just three screws, you can open them up, and change the seal, change the impeller and away you go. One thing to note is different brands have slightly different forms of impellers. So if you were to look closely, this one has bigger magnets, this one has smaller, and it also the kind of gaps are slightly different. So it's important to, write, to buy the right ones if you are servicing your machine. This machine here obviously doesn't have one because we're activating it and deactivating it manually. But if it did have one, you'd be basically generally have a touchpad where you've programmed it in, and most of the times they sit just behind the group head. Hopefully, that helps you now know what a flow meter is and when you need to change or service yours. Hopefully, if you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions on these flow meters or anything flow meter related, hit us up on the comments below and I'll get back to you. Also, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Thank you.